I'm an employee here. That's really cool. So I'm supposed to turn you into meat. I don't think I'm going to turn you into meat. I'm going to take you home with me. Okay? You're going to be my pet. I like you. Okay? You're going to be Fluffles. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Paint the Town Red. And before we continue with more user-generated levels, I wanted to take a quick moment at the beginning of the video to point out something that I learned about the game in between episodes. So last episode, I wanted to make a thumbnail for the video, and I couldn't really get the shot just right. You know, the level was a little bit too hectic, I couldn't get a really good picture, so I decided maybe I'll try to recreate it in the level editor. Sounds easy enough. It turns out it's anything but easy. The level editor in this game is so freaking complicated and finicky and difficult. I can't imagine how people actually make these levels. They must put an incredible amount of time and effort and energy into making them. So I wanted to take a quick second at the beginning of the video. I've made so many of these videos using their levels. I feel like it's only appropriate to say thank you guys for doing what you do. You're making Paint the Town Red what it is. So kudos to all of you creators out there. Our first level is called Underground Fight Club. And I know we played a level kind of similar to this in the past, but this one was really highly rated and I really like the idea of an underground fighting ring. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Man, I, every time I see one of these, I get Spider-Man flashbacks. Bones are is ready. They do have refreshments down here. That's very important. I'm going to work up a thirst murdering people in the ring. I'm also going to want to shoot some hoops, so I'm happy you brought my ball. Thank you. Good, good job. See what else they got going on down here. We have a couple of guards. I'm guessing you guys probably don't want me to go through here. Whoa. Okay. Some pretty tight security at this place, huh? Is that a metal detector and Roman guards? Maybe we'll check out that place a little bit later. We get a live band uh, going. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Your music is kind of tits. You can hear like a very gentle cowbell almost. I feel like that's not what this guy is doing, but I don't really need to worry myself because I need to get in the ring. I got a big match coming up and this is my rage cage. Whoa, okay. Um, I thought this was gonna be a, what are you doing? Are you smelling your preeminent death? Because that's what's gonna, oh, I get it. <laughs> can you smell what the prisoner is cooking? <laughs> So we have The Rock, we have uh, DJ Diddles, and then over there we have Smokey McGee and the Tough Guy, and then a whole lot of weapons. I thought that this was gonna be a clean cage match. I like the fact that there are chairs in here though. Okay, okay, are we, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, you guys aren't supposed to be able to take part. That's cheating, ow, ow. Hmm, the guards don't seem to want me to enter the ring. Is it not my time yet? I thought it was my time. You know what? That's my bad. Maybe it's my time now? Yeah? What do you say, DJ Diddles? Maybe I should just come over here. Okay, I approached them and the guards seem to be very upset. Maybe I need to take down the guards first. <laughs> How about that? I know. Whoa, okay. Uh, flying chairs. Not what I had intended. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? Wait a minute. Are the wrestlers helping me? I'm pretty sure they are. Yes. Solidarity among wrestlers. Get out of here, guards. Ow. Am I missing something? Because I feel like I'm missing something other than the band's music. Like clearly, I am supposed to be part of this fight. Bonesaw is the main attraction. He's at the top of the ticket. It's what the fans are here to see, but these two idiots seem to disagree. So maybe I could just come raise the roof with DJ Diddles? Yeah, no, I'm hanging out back here. No, don't come in. No, I'm raising the roof with DJ Diddles. Please stop. No, no, DJ Diddles. <laughs> they took you before your time. I'll avenge you. Oh, never mind. He's okay. Listen, man, I know we're hard up for wrestlers, but why do you have an orange? I don't get it. Go, go, ow! Why do people kill me in like two hits? I don't understand this level. Listen, handlebars, am I on the ticket or not? Because I'm getting my ass beat in there and I can't figure out why. And I've noticed that you seem to have a shelf full of weapons back there with my name on them. So if this idiot could just get out of the way, ow or not, apparently, Apparently my full-blown kick does nothing against some people in this game. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh crap. Oh crap. No. No. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. I didn't I didn't mean it. I have to be missing something, right? Look, there must just be more to this level. There's some stuff going on in here. We have a spilly drinker and a pimp behind door number 1. 
We have a naked man sleeping. Kind of weird for a fighting ring, right? Uh, pimp, what have you got? Dude hanging out, staring at a guitar on a wall. All right, yeah, he doesn't have problems. Ooh, got something going on down here. Employees only, hey? Uh, anything? We have a dancing man with a knife who seems to be hanging out in some kind of cellar. All right, that's not super helpful. Axes are super helpful. I'll take that. Might be able to beat off the guards now. I, I mean, kill the guards. I don't want to beat them off. That's what the naked room is for. Oh, we could be training. Oh, I have a friend. Are you my friend? Is he Is he my friend? It's because, like, I don't know. Okay, yeah, no, he's my friend. So you just get off of him. And holy crap, why are people so freaking strong in this level? Yeah, get a, get a thing. And you're going to help me get in the ring. Oh, my God, my tag team sucked. Guards, guards, deal with them. Guards, why aren't you guys doing your job now? All right, well, screw me then. I'm going in the high security areas. If you guys aren't gonna do anything, what's behind here? Hey, boss, listen, am I on the ticket or not? I need to know. You're about to get hit, hit by your cronies, but apparently not because you're invincible. I don't get it, I give up. Our next level is called Too Expensive, and I think it happens in a grocery store. I'm not totally sure. This one was just really highly rated, like one of the highest rated levels ever. So I figured I should probably check it out. We do start with a shotgun. I like that. Where are we? Oh, we're in the back of a truck. Okay, hey guys, what's up? We're all just uh, drinking in a grocery store parking lot. That's not sketchy at all. There's also a washing machine parked here. <laughs> I wonder who rode in on that. Are you two the ones that rode in on the washing machine? <laughs> Like, why are there two naked men sitting here in the parking lot with a police officer? I came to the grocery store to buy eggs, okay? Not see your eggs, so I'm just gonna be on my way. Stop stink-eyeing me, I'm still holding a shotgun and you're still naked. Let's just go in here and buy our groceries and get the hell out of here. Holy crap! Look at this place! Okay, I like it. This is what I was saying, like, this must have taken, like, weeks to make in the level editor. I can't even imagine. Uh, this guy looks like he's about to go King Kong all over this vending machine. Whoa, okay, calm down. <laughs> How do you guys let people in here with bats? And, and shotguns? I thought it was weird that there was two guys naked in the parking lot. In the grocery store, there's a dude grabbing another dude's dong and getting ready to slap it with a frying pan. <laughs> Look at this sketchy dude looking at me. What's your problem? You're clearly evil, right? Like, you have to be. Nobody is bottom lit like that and ends up being a good guy. <laughs> there's also a naked guy smoking back here. He's smoking a broken bottle. Really, don't blow smoke in my face. You're naked in a grocery store hitting the bong. That's not okay. <laughs> Even if there is live percussion entertainment. This place is really freaking weird. Okay, should I just get in line? Do I need to buy this shotgun? What are you guys buying? A stool? Uh, something small, basketball, all right. Huh. Well, it's a pretty interesting little grocery store. I'm not gonna lie, they got checkouts, they got people working here, the lines aren't really moving, but I feel like it's time that we pick a fight. Go ahead, blow smoke in my face again, I dare you. Okay, you know what? He's a brave corpse. Okay. I was aiming for between the eyes. I got him from uh, tit to chin. Oh, guys, guys, whoa. What? Why was everybody friends with the naked guy smoking in the back? Except for the drummer, keep it up, dude. Gentlemen, if we could all line up in aisle six, I would appreciate it. Save myself some shots. <laughs> Were you the guy molesting the dude in aisle two a minute ago? You need to die. Oh no, I took his dick grabbing arm. Ah! Holy crap, look at this guy's head. <laughs> I don't even want to kill him. Oh no, no, get back up. Every time I see one of them like that, they're like unicorns. <laughs> I absolutely love that part of this game, how you can just decapitate people and they'll just keep coming at you. So maybe we can keep that guy for last. I keep knocking him down, I'm sorry, I'm not trying. The baggers are gonna have an absolute shit fit. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> okay, you know what? No tossing people across the aisles, that, that's rude. I wanna say that the game is lagging, but I'm starting to think that these guys might be possessed. I'm getting the hell out of this haunted supermarket. How's the naked guy in the... Of course he's just chilling. All right, yeah, we're just having a grand old time out here. You have a bar of soap. He has a cue ball. People are dying inside, and you might want to get on top of your washing machine, just get the hell out of here. 
I think because there are just so many items in this level, it, it's a little bit laggy because there aren't that many people. Uh, we could berserk. Yeah, let's berserk. It's been a while since we berserked. I feel like this isn't the place for smite. <laughs> okay, you, you need to die, sushi chef. You too, pimplicious. Oh boy, go, no, go down. Down, girl, down. What the, why are you so invincible? I hate it when Berserk doesn't one-shot people. It's so freaking annoying. And, oh, come on. That was weak. Employees only, you say, okay. Um, whoa, okay. There's an odd number of people that don't seem to care that the fights are happening right now. Like the chef over there, he's just going about his day. This dude is covered in somebody else's blood. <laughs> is it your job to clean up after everybody? Because I, d I do pity you. I think you're gonna have to wait for them to stop squirming as well before you finish them off. I only have one hit left and I'm battling both the living and the dead and lag because it's really difficult to get over all these corpses. But I think the main store is almost good. You're just gonna chill out. Just keep it up, keep it up, we're good. Uh, these guys are just swinging for the fences. I guess I could kind of hell. oh, come on. I couldn't move backwards. You know what, you guys have seen the level and it's probably for the best that we don't actually kill the naked washer riding duo in the parking lot. I feel like they're just too majestic to put down. Our next level is called the Meat Factory. For obvious reasons, we have a lot of men standing around turning smaller naked men into meat. Oh, I'm an employee here. That's really cool. So I'm supposed to turn you into meat. I don't think I'm gonna turn you into meat. I'm gonna take you home with me, okay? You're gonna be my pet. I like you, okay? You're gonna be Fluffles. So Fluffles, you wait here. I'm gonna go see what's going on in the rest of this place. Holy crap, they're actually like grinding them up and cooking them and stuff. That's crazy. Oh my God. You see, this is the kind of creativity I was talking about. This level is both twisted and amazing. What are you guys doing? We're just smelling the meat pit. Yeah, I bet you that smells good. Doesn't smell like fluffles though, does it? What else have we got going on in here? I'm almost afraid to ask. Oh, of course. We have a, a giant, why are you naked? I, I get why they're naked, because they're getting turned into meat, but you just decided to get naked for the hell of it. I mean, I could get naked too if we really wanted to. Uh, You don't seem to be too distressed, to be perfectly honest. I know, oh yeah, wait, what? I thought that he was like butchering him, but he seems to just be doing his hair. So what is this place exactly? It seems to be both a, uh, a human meat factory and a hair salon. I'm just very, very confused. We're uh, we're building something over here by the looks of it. A maintenance crew in here fixing some pipes. Outdoors? No, we don't have an outdoors. Oh, we have the the head meat honcho. I see. There is an outdoors though. I guess this is where oh this is where we package it all up. Uh, sir, I'm not gonna lie. Your truck kind of looks like shit. It's uh, seen better days, right? The wheels real low to the ground, real small, real square. Can't imagine it's gonna haul all this human meat, which I need to get back to slaughtering. Need to get back to Fluffles, he's calling my name. Fluffles, where are, there he is. Fluffles, okay, so what are we gonna do about you? I clearly need to kill all these people and then not you. And I get the feeling once this goes down, I'm not gonna be able to identify you from the other ones, so. I'm gonna drop this really quick, and I'm just gonna give you a brand, all right? I'm just gonna give you a little quick boop. Uh, yeah, there we go, okay, he's got a chin mark. No, Fluffles, no, no, Fluffles. Oh God, the naked people are turning on me. No, we're supposed to rise up. <laughs> oh my God, is he still, where, where is he? I can't, there he is, that, that one's Fluffles. That one right there. Oh, okay, that guy went down like a sack of potatoes. I thought he was gonna take a lot more considering he has a katana and he's the boss. It's cool. I mean, I will happily take a katana and hopefully deal with all these guys and try my best not to kill Fluffles. In reality, I don't think they're fighting each other. They seem to all be fighting me. That one right there, that's Fluffles, the one. <laughs> I like that I actually gave him a very definitive mark. You know, no Fluffles, no weapons, bad Fluffles. What did, what did you get? What do you have? Put it down, put it, put it down. What is it? Did you find a ninja star? Where did ninja star come from? I wanted this to be a rebellion. The naked people were gonna rise up and take over, but they don't seem super interested. They're kind of fighting each other. They're definitely fighting me. I mean, I guess I do technically work here and I'm kicking their fallen brethren's heads around. So maybe they just don't realize that I'm with them. 
I don't know. Maybe I'll have to get uh, Fluffles to translate. What's this dude doing? The maintenance crew is just beating down on the workers. <laughs> They're not pleased with their wages. Meanwhile, in the other room, we have man with half a face who is stuck in the meat pit, and we have people running around in the fire. No, no, please tell me that wasn't Fluffles. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Fluffles only has the top half of his head right now. Fluffles, where are you? I don't see him. They're kind of killing each other. It's so difficult to hold on. No, please don't be gone. Fluffles, Fluffles, where are you? Even the guy in the meat pit escaped. How is this happening to me? I've lost everything that I loved. We have, uh, whoa, we have two employees left, and... Ooh, wait, there's three people left. Maybe Fluffles got out? I'm gonna hold out hope that he got away. <laughs> I don't see him anywhere. What is happening? Maybe he's just like the truck driver or something like that. It's just arms flying down all over the... Oh, it's you. You're not Fluffles. Ow. I never did see where the giant naked guy went. Did he explode? What happened here? <laughs> okay, I shouldn't ask questions because they're all waiting for me in the truck. And uh, I'm guessing that we need to probably get out of here, right? What are you What are you doing? Stop that. Stop. No, that, that's a big sword. I know how to work that, though. I'm an employee here. If you could... What the hell? Why are you so strong? Get, uh, there's not enough weapons in this level. <laughs> all the naked men use them. This is what it's come down to. You and me for the fate of... All the naked people, those that are left. Dun 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 dun. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't anticlimactic at all. I wanted to have a whole, like, lightsaber battle. It's gonna be really epic. But no, we're just gonna drive off into the sunset. Rest in peace, Fluffles. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town, right, guys? And I really wanted to quickly say at the end of the video thank you guys so much for supporting this series. I know it's kind of corny to say, it's almost a meme at this point, YouTubers say that kind of thing all the time, and it's lost a lot of meaning, but at the same time, I have made way more videos on this game than I would have ever imagined I would. And a lot of them are videos that I'm incredibly proud of, like some of the funniest stuff that I feel I've made on the channel at all. So the fact that I get to continue making something I'm proud of, and it always gets so much support in views and likes and comments and stuff like that, I'm just incredibly grateful, so I wanted to take a second just to show my appreciation. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.